Can alcohol actually worsen your arthritis symptoms and accelerate joint damage? You might think that an occasional drink isn't a big deal, but recent research reveals a clear connection between alcohol consumption and worsening arthritis, both in your x-rays and your daily pain levels. What's even more surprising is that it's not just how much you drink, but how alcohol directly affects inflammation and joint health that really makes a difference. Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Peng here. As a sport sports medicine physician with years of experience treating arthritis, I've made it a point to stay updated on the latest research and evidence-based treatments. One of the most common questions I get is, how did I get arthritis in the first place? For some, it's a mix of genetics, injuries, and metabolic factors. But for others, there may be a smaller, less obvious factor at play. Today, we're diving into the fascinating and perhaps surprising relationship between alcohol and arthritis. So let's first unravel the connection between osteoarthritis and chronic inflammation. Osteoarthritis is the most common form of arthritis, and it all starts when the cartilage in your joints, cartilage is the padding over your bones that keep things moving smoothly, begins to break down over time. This breakdown triggers inflammation, which is responsible for a lot of the pain and stiffness that arthritis sufferers feel. Now here's where things get interesting. Let's talk about inflammatory markers. You've probably heard of CRP, C-reactive protein, and interleukin-6, IL-6. These are two key markers of inflammation. The higher these markers, the more inflammation is likely present somewhere in your body. But here's the big question. Where does alcohol come into play with regards to inflammation? We all know alcohol is a risk factor for a range of chronic diseases, and that includes heart disease, stroke, and even some cancers. But there's a surprising twist known as the alcohol paradox. It suggests that moderate alcohol consumption might actually reduce inflammation in the body, potentially benefiting heart health. Could alcohol have a hidden upside here? A few years back, some studies suggested that alcohol might actually have a protective effect against inflammation. In fact, a 2004 study published in Circulation found that moderate alcohol intake was linked to lower levels of inflammatory markers like IL-6 and CRP. Then, in 2011, a study published in Arthritis Research and Therapy looked at alcohol consumption in patients with preclinical rheumatoid arthritis. The results were intriguing. They found a U-shaped relationship between daily alcohol intake and IL-6 levels. In other words, those who consumed a small amount of alcohol, around 10 to 12 grams per day, had the lowest levels of inflammation. These findings led to widespread assumption that if alcohol could reduce chronic inflammation, it might also lower the risk of developing osteoarthritis. And so for years, articles with headlines like this, drinking alcohol can reduce severity of arthritis, made their rounds in mainstream media. But here's the twist. Newer research challenges this view. After adjusting for confounding factors and selection bias, recent studies have found no protective effect of alcohol when it comes to osteoarthritis. In fact, the opposite of what we once thought may actually be true. Emerging data now suggests that alcohol might actually worsen osteoarthritis symptoms and lead to worse long-term outcomes. For example, research from the Osteoarthritis Initiative showed that excessive alcohol consumption was significantly linked to increased risk of both radiographic and symptomatic knee osteoarthritis. However, it doesn't stop there. Other studies have uncovered a concerning link between alcohol and hip osteoarthritis. Higher alcohol consumption was found to increase the risk of needing a total hip replacement. And it seems that the more alcohol consumed, the greater the risk. There is a dose-dependent relationship. But here's the big question. Why does alcohol have this effect? How did we go from alcohol reducing inflammation to now linking alcohol to worse osteoarthritis symptoms? There's one one sinister possibility that could potentially explain the connection between alcohol and joint health. And it's something that's happening quietly within our body, affecting us in ways we might not expect. And that's the gut microbiome. Recent research has uncovered a strong link between the bacteria in your gut and your joints. When everything is in balance, your gut microbiome supports your immunity, your metabolism, and your overall health. But when this balance is disrupted, it 
can cause a shift. Beneficial bacteria are reduced and potentially harmful ones take over. This imbalance is known as dysbiosis, and it's been tied to a wide range of health issues, not just intestinal problems, but also systemic conditions. For instance, gut dysbiosis has been strongly linked to inflammatory bowel disease, obesity, diabetes, cancer, cardiovascular disease, and metabolic syndrome. And what's even more concerning is that emerging research is starting to suggest that this imbalance in your gut microbiome could be playing a major role in osteoarthritis. So how does alcohol fit into this bigger picture? It turns out that alcohol has a profound effect on the gut microbiome. Research shows that alcohol reduces the levels of beneficial bacteria like lactobacillus. This in turn allows harmful bacteria to thrive. This shift creates an imbalance that could set the stage for further health issues. But the impact does not just stop there. When your body metabolizes alcohol, it generates reactive oxygen species. These compounds cause oxidative stress in the intestines. This oxidative stress damages the gut's ability to function properly, making the problem of dysbiosis even worse. On top of that, alcohol triggers inflammation in the gastrointestinal system, which in turn leads to metabolic dysfunction and tissue damage throughout the body. Now I want to point out that much of this research is associational, meaning we don't have any randomized controlled trial that compares alcohol to a placebo, specifically for arthritis. But even so, the associations that we're seeing are powerful and they're definitely worth paying attention to. For those dealing with joint pain or arthritis, it might be time to rethink how much alcohol you're consuming. Moderation is always a smart choice, especially when it comes to something that could both affect your gut and your joints. Lastly, I mentioned earlier how alcohol can disrupt the gut microbiome and potentially worsen arthritis symptoms. But did you know there are specific foods that can actually do the opposite, help restore balance in your gut and even improve joint health? Check out this next video where I reveal the top foods that can transform your gut microbiome and give your joints the support that they need to feel better than ever.